Here we are, the first goat proof paddock. We got it completely finished. We were able to move the goats in here pretty much before they started kidding. We had a couple that kitted outside, but we were able to get them in. So everything is set and ready to work perfect. The very first thing we did, Lisa came in with the skid steer and cleared the trees. Then Blake and I patched the barbed wire, sat new braces where it was needed, then restretched the barbed wire and added one more to make it five. Then a single electric fence wire was added 10 inches from the bottom and offset about 12 inches. Insulated wire was added to connect it all. A water gap was hung using a cable and 20 foot 4 inch square panels. This may be good or it may be bad. The very last thing we had to do was put four gates in. Bam, 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 bam. Now we can start bringing in the goats.
Now the rest of the story. The goats, I believe, followed the dogs who found a low spot. The low spot was where we stretched the fence and it actually pulled a couple of posts up during all this rain. And so it ended up being a foot and a half, two foot tall low spot. So I actually had some guys that were here running some water lines that night for an oil job. And they said they actually saw the first one go out. And once the first one went out, it was like water through a dam. <laughs> So this is the post that was completely out of the ground. Therefore, the electric fence was up really high. And what that did, the barbed wire was also up really high, a foot to two foot high. And then, and then, there was a dog spot. The dogs managed to dig, which made that spot about three foot high. Hence, the hair in the barb. I don't know if it's focused on that or not, but you see the hair in the barb. And if you follow, the, you can see the trail going up through the grass. <laughs> Dang it! Oh well. Make adjustments. So. I was glad to find out that it was actually more or less my fault, uh, not the goat's fault or the fence design fault. However, it has put me on a little bit of a uh, slow path to continue on with a lot of fencing because I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work yet and so I want to be a little bit careful on that and not waste a lot of time and money like we have on this last section. And we didn't waste a ton of money but we wasted a lot of time which time is money so the goats are out here in the big pasture again of course it's, you know they were already starting to drop kids they left five nannies that I could count with kids in there and I've just been piddling around out here and there's kids everywhere out here so it's it's gonna be extremely difficult to drive them back and put them in with all the kids that are already on the ground. And it's just, it's too big a risk. It's too big a risk to, to lose something uh, or have something left behind, that kind of stuff. So, you know, unless they just end up down that way, we might do it, but I'm not 100% sure we're going to. I'm thinking that we probably won't. So uh, anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to tootle around a little bit here and see if I can't find some more uh, nannies because this isn't all of them and uh, kind of see what's going on with the other groups because they are starting to split in groups again. So I guess that's it. <laughs> Game over. <laughs>